Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bob Waldron and welcome to a new step-by-step -step video build here at Genesis Models. We are gonna be building quite a bit of a different build here. It's gonna be quite a whopper. It's gonna be this. It's gonna be the Spitfire Mark 1A. This is by Itachi Part Works. It is in a whopping one in 18 scale. So this is gonna be a massive, massive build. It's a subscription-based um, kind of collection where you slowly collect it uh, probably a quick explanation would be to show you this trailer So there's a nice little trailer there just to kind of wet your lips for what it is and what it's all about. But to go into a little bit more detail, what we have here is one of these subscription services where you basically subscribe and then what they do is they'll send you each and every month four issues. Um, each issue costs about £9.99. So basically about, you know, you're paying £40 a month and you'll get four issues sent to you each month. In total, there is about 120 20 issues which I do believe um, not 100% on this one but I do believe you'll have everything by around about uh, issue 100 and then after that uh, from issue 100 to 120 you basically get a nice diorama as well but don't hold me to that but there is like a really cool diorama that comes with this so with this build what we have is this massive massive spitfire which i do believe is what well, it's 51 centimeters in length 130.5 um, centimeters high with a wingspan of 62 centimeters it's made out of um, die cast metal plastic for the fine details um, as you've seen in that trailer as well it's got that lovely base where it does all this kind of maneuvering business and everything we've got all sorts of lights and sounds and cool stuff we've got uh, what we've got here we've got like landing gear and everything maybe let's bring you in a bit closer we've got all this landing gear going on we've got this engine area that shows off and propellers um, there's that lovely base as well the instrument display panel and everything lights up which is rather rather cool we've got our flaps and everything that can come down and pretty much loads loads more we've got a little figurine in there and all cool cool stuff so what we have here is um an affordable way of getting a really sort of expensive build i mean let's face it this kit is costing around about over a thousand pounds right so to go off and spend that all in one go and then have this big build all in one go 
Um, not many of us are going to go out and sort of do that, but by having the subscription service, I do like it because it is a, a convenient way of buying such a colossal kit. I mean, £40 a month isn't sort of breaking the bank, um, and you slowly get these, these issues um, for each and every week. So you can nice and slowly, baby steps, just build through it, have the time to build through it, four issues um, a, a month, isn't going to be that hard to get it sort of built it's not it's going to be a convenient way to pay um, rather than as I say I mean spending over a thousand pounds to actually buy one of these um, is, it is it's a lot of money to just do in one go also what you get is um, the magazines I mean the magazines themselves I've got issues one and two just here um, inside these magazines there is actually not just about the build it isn't it isn't a case of going off and okay we've got the instructions in the front here on how to build it and then you throw away the magazine once you've built it right there's um, you've almost kind of collect almost a book a big encyclopedia about um, spitfires and all sorts of stuff I mean if we just sort of show you just here we do have um, the story of the spitfire a section which is basically just talking all about spitfire and the production of it and all sorts of technical details and everything uh, you've got the fighter squadrons that one's quite interesting it's based around the Battle of Britain where it basically goes off and talks you through all the different squadrons that took part in the Battle of Britain and I'm assuming there's going to be all sorts of stories and how they were run and all this kind of stuff so that's also going to be cool we've got some fighter aces here as well which is also going to be cool uh, we've got the war in the air which is going to be all sorts of details about um, aerial attacks and bombing raids done by both allied and enemy aircraft alike um, again loads and loads of information on World War II uh, Britain at war is going to be a nice little thing kind of sort of you know how Britain and got on with the war and um, how Britain was changed during the, the war years and everything so uh, if you like me I do love a bit of um, history on World War II and it's just nice to kind of read up on all that so that will be cool what you also get as well um, if you subscribe because let's face it I know these will end up in the shops and everything H and uh, not H and V sorry um, what is it Marks and Spence not Marks and Spencers WH Smith, sorry, that was the one. I know you get them in there and everything, but you know, it's one of them. It's sort of like, you know, if will they have every single issue all the way up to 120? Um, subscribing is just kind of like the easiest way to sort of, you know, it gets paid for automatic through your bank account and they automatically come to your door. Plus, by doing that, you get these lovely free gifts also, which um, hopefully what you can see here is yes, you get issue one nice and free. Also, you get issue with um, with del your first delivery as well. You also get this a nice um, what is it? It's a um, a tin poster which I actually have already received. So here's your little tin poster here, which is actually quite cool for it to be tin. Um, something really nice to pull up in your workshop. Um, nice, lovely quote here. Never was so much owed by so many to so few by Winston Churchill. Um, really, really cool. I got lucky and they sent me two. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, you know, nice start to the freebies there. Also, you get binders in your third delivery as well as you get this nice mug with the 74 squadron badge on it and that's in the fifth delivery and then I think uh, this 20th delivery which is pretty much right at the end you'll get this personalized plaque just here which is really a nice touch and when they say personalized you'll have your name on there so when you actually subscribe make sure you don't put something like um, some nickname or something use your proper name because what you use is what's going to go on that plaque which is rather rather cool so with all that said it's looking really cool i'm going to be collecting the whole thing i'm going to be building the whole thing and i'm going to be walking you guys through the whole thing but um you know this is still a die cast model right so for all you guys out there who are not like big scale modeler fans maybe but you really want to have this 
you know, a bit of a die cast model. Everything's going to be here. It's all going to be, you know, just basically sort of build it together. It's all going to be painted. All the markings are going to be on there and everything. You're not going to have to worry about any of that stuff, right? But me being a scale modeler, um, I can't help but want to actually paint this myself. I want to give it that sort of more professional look to it by actually thinking about spraying it, um, somehow redeckling it, uh, weathering it all up and really sort of make it a really cool, cool centerpiece. Now, um, I'm not sure how to go about this because I mean, really, I don't have all the parts with me. Uh, I'm sort of going to have to come to that when we've got all the pieces because the thing is, um, if we are going to spray this, which is what I want to do, right? I can't just spray a panel one week and spray another panel the other week and weather it and stuff. I need the whole model here and pretty much, you know, 95% built for me to go off and, you know, spray it all in one go. So that's something to tackle down the line. Um, the, the big problem I'm seeing with this is because it's made so that it's just ready to go. Um, you don't get like the decals, all these markings on here, the roundels and stuff, they're already, you know, sprayed on or painted on or whatever, right? So we um, we don't get like a separate decal sheet, which basically means if I spray this, I'm going to spray over the markings. So I'm going to be probably looking at some, a uh, little bit tricky, but potentially making my own decals, making my own masks to spray the markings on. Um, or something along those lines. So again, something I'm gonna have to tackle um, in the future. Um, or even, you know, we could just kind of leave the spray job as it is and we could maybe sort of weather it using cool techniques with oils and washes and enamel washes and all this kind of cool stuff and maybe just give it that extra bit of life that way. Uh, but again, gotta wait till we've got all the model and we sort of see and I'll, I'll we'll, we'll tackle that as we go along um, also with this build which I'm doing uh, myself as a step-by-step -step, guiding you through the build as it comes in and everything what I'm also probably going to be looking at is potential upgrades as well as we go along I'm really sort of I'm not anticipating this to be a hard build um, it, it, in all respect but I'm sort of I've just looking at these pictures because I mean this is all I've got to go on. I'm sort of seeing like I mean for the the engine cal for one. I mean you might be able to see um, you know just here you know the engine cal does have like a bit of a gap going on there and we've got another picture in. You could probably see some little gaps around the engine cal um, again. You know, a bit of a gap going on there. Um, there's, there's things like that which I want to sort of maybe upgrade this and make it a little bit better. So uh, maybe add magnets or something to the engine cowl, maybe make it, make it fit a little bit better. We've also got like detailed areas. We do have, here's the engine section just here, which um, we could go off, look at reference photos, maybe add a couple of extra hoses and tubes and wiring in there just to sort of jazz it up a little bit more that's why I'm I'm also looking at with this build because I don't as I say I don't anticipate it being a hard build so we may as well sort of take it a little bit more and make this even more better than it is um, the pilot in here as well being die cast I mean you know just looking at his face it's um, doesn't really have any sort of highlights or sort of shading or anything going on in there so um, may go off and sort of you know repaint him all, all those kind of things um, so if you want to sort of follow along and sort of get these upgrades as as, as the issues come out please do um, you can also you can dis uh, subscribe on YouTube so you kind of get the notifications and everything you know ring that bell and all that kind of jazz uh, but yeah um, now we've sort of gone through that side of it and how um, you know these videos are going to go and how these magazines are going to go how about we just kind of crack on and let's get some building done so with issue one we're going to start off with the propeller itself now this is quite easy as you see i've been playing already um, what we've got is we've got these two end bits here right what we want is the one that has this circular bit at the bottom just there and what we're going to do is drop it in this jig really cool jig to really sort of make this so so easy basically it should fit nice and slug snug and not really be going anywhere let me bring you a bit closer and what we're going to do we're going to take these propellers just here and we've got this uh, little piece just in you'll notice just inside there we've got a little notch 
just sticking up there as well as a little sort of notch actually on the propeller itself and what you want to do is just line them up let me get you this way around line them up as you can see it needs to sort of fit in there and slide in push it in and it should just stop and then this is the really easy part is because we've got this jig all we need to do is just drop this in to there like so now hopefully what you'll notice and you'll feel is that if you've got it in wrong which this is in wrong right it won't sort of feel right it won't feel snug if I turn this over right that is in and that now feels solid if I try and rock it there's not really much rocking going on at all it's nice and snug and we can do that with all four again you'll know if you mean wrong boom boom oh sorry actually you know what I forgot a little piece we got this other little sort of cog thing going on here that just drops in there nice first and then we do that again just like I just showed you it's not rocking it's in right nice and easy and then we get our other piece that goes on top right and this should also fit nice and snug then we got these little screws right we do have two we only need one so we'll keep the other one um, nice and safe somewhere I do recommend getting some sort of a box because we're gonna as this build goes along we're gonna have a bit here a bit there having a nice box just to put all your pieces in um, and keep them all nice and safe is definitely a good idea then getting out a nice little screwdriver we're gonna get this screw here and simply screw this in really really easy to do this screw this right in don't go so far that you cross thread it just want to get it so it just starts to feel tight and then we're going to need to test it so we should now be able to turn one of them let's maybe bring you out for this so you can see if we turn one of them the other two turn see that turn one they all turn and there we go um, this is a bit separate at the moment but that's going to go on there and it's going to fix somehow on there I'm not quite sure but it'll go on there oh, it's got little holes in there for screws and there we go our propeller is all done for issue one so now we're going to start issue two but before we move along quick sort of tip and a little bit of a, an upgrade already um, what we have here is a product called Tamiya Extra Thin Cement now we've got a bunch of plastic parts in here which um, do work with Tamiya Extra Thin Cement and it's just good to sort of seal things and lock things down a little bit better I know we did have a screw that we screwed inside here which uh, it's out of the way, a screw which locked it down but I did find that as I was turning it it did almost seem like it was kind of pushing the plastic up a little bit so what um, I've done is I've, I've come along and did some gluing now with this stuff right you don't actually um, glue one side and then bring them together it's not like a bonding glue it is more of like a reaction that um, dissolves the plastic so what you do is you bring the two pieces together then you get your tamarix fin cement and you paint uh, you paint down that join line right and because it's so thin it sucks into the join line gets into that join line and then it starts to dissolve kind of like melt that plastic so that these two pieces of plastic then melt on the join line and start gooing together and basically become one which really makes it a nice strong um, glue for for plastics and that's what I've just done here and I'll just quickly show you again uh, I brought it together the screws holding it together but we come along Tamiax fin cement right with the brush and all you do is you know just run it along right you run it along and it'll just suck right in there all right and then just to make sure you sort of lock it down I'll just come along with some simple closed pegs for the garden line 
right um, your missus isn't gonna like you when you nick them all but there we go and then you just leave that um, for maybe something like half an hour to an hour and it, it locks down pretty damn good um, and that sorts that out uh, and pretty much wherever there's any sort of plastic I'll probably do do that depending on the situation but moving along now we come to issue two and we start actually putting this lovely little motor that we get in here before we do that we need to bring back our propeller just here we're going to get our nose cone and we need to fit this see we've got this little bit sticking just up there that needs to line up with our little um, bit just inside there you might be able to see um, where it sort of lines up so we get them place that in there and it should be kind of nice and snug then what we want to do is see these kind of little half moon shapes going on here we want them to line up with our propellers as well as these screw holes as well to line up with these screw holes so we're going to now line this up like so and then we should have some more screws again they do seem to be giving us um, spare screws because we only need three um, but I've got like a load in here oh well, I've got one extra black one so we take these and again we just screw each one in nicely right now what I like to do is I don't like to screw one in and screw it all the way in and all the way tight because that could make the other two sort of misalign I sort of like to just screw it in a little bit and then screw the other one in a little bit screw the other one in a little bit so they're all nicely screwed in so I know I'm not going to have one that's not quite going in because I've tightened one down and it's not lining up so then I'll go off and we'll do a bit of a tightening up on that one a bit of a tightening up on that one come back to the first one again and then we could probably you know tighten that until it starts getting too much resistance again um, actually I think this one does actually go into metal so we don't need to worry too much about sort of doing any cross threading but when you're going into plastic you really do so don't put too much pressure in as long as that feels like that's holding quite nicely which it does look pretty sort of solid so there we go that's looking rather rather cool um, then what we've got which is um, another smart feature to this is actually this is it here is actually part of the engine you can start to see a bit of the detail of the engine on here and what we need to do um, we need to I'll just double check my instructions we need to get our little motor just here all right we need to orientate this just right and get the right piece Right, so facing our propeller here this is how you want it to sort of be orientated then we want to put our motor in just here and just drops in pretty sort of nice then we come back with our propeller now we don't want to be sort of getting our see the little sort of brass bits not like I've got it on there we want it to just go right over the edge like so and the same the opposite side right and then it's a bit tricky to hold it all so it might have been better to do this first before actually bringing our nose cone to it but then we want to carefully bring this in so that's all locked in it's pretty sort of a nice fit and then you want to look at your gears you know give your propeller a bit of a spin and it should be that should be gear should be all nice and then we've got two screws these are the black ones which we want to just screw in here like so again we get the first one to sort of bite a bit now this I do believe is plastic or into plastic so be careful you don't over tighten and do any cross threading although if you did right by accident maybe don't worry because you know we can 
use good old Tamiak screen cement to actually get uh, to glue it together, which I probably will anyway. Right, and we'll come back to this one again. Looking around, and there we go. Right, so get that. Make sure that's a bit. Mm, we don't want to. Again, got to be careful. You know, you go a bit too far and you start cross threading. Right, which is why I like to come along. Let's grab, get some pegs on here. Right, because you might see little gappages, maybe around the join lines, but you start getting the pegs on, and the pegs actually start to lock these gaps down right and now because I haven't actually done this one I didn't show you properly with the um, the propellers but here's our join line running down our plastic here coming in with a Tamurex to fin cement you just touch it and it will just suck in there right. you don't need to like paint it on like keep brushing and brushing and brushing like this or something and just put loads of it on because your brush will end up going black that's basically the um, the plastic melting and going onto your brush right, you just need to touch it and just let it sort of flow in there by itself watch the gears because I think the gears are plastic and we don't want to glue the the gears together right, and then again just touch it and you'll just see it flow in there nicely all right now when we come to um, you know we've got this peg on here to sort of hold it in um, you might come to a part that's a little bit tricky to get the brush into maybe along the top just here don't worry I mean if you get most of it um, it will glue most of it down it'll lock it down and then you can just simply take the peg off once it's dried and what you missed right assuming this is dry now by the way and what you missed you can just come in and paint along there like so all right i'll put the peg on because it ain't dry yet um maybe even whack a bit more than one peg on as well don't be afraid to do that and there we go that there is all done and sort of ready now for the next couple of issues which we've got this piece left over this is going to probably be for the next issue um, kind of an interesting note see these bit of metal bits on there they are magnets all right so that kind of uh, i'm not sure what that might be it might be for the engine cowl so the engine cowl's got magnets on it or something which is kind of interesting so we'll check that out in later issues again get all your screws save them you never know they might be needed later on they're probably just extras but we shall see so there we go those are the first two issues um, i'll see you next month for what would probably be issue three four five and six where we'll move along with this build um, so hopefully you've enjoyed hopefully you're going to get in on board if you am you know subscribe to genesis models um, you know ring that bell all that kind of stuff any comments down below are welcome i'll do my best to answer them um, and hopefully we'll have an enjoyable build so until the next um, issue my name is Bob Waldron this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed